Hello and welcome to YouTube channel Health Q, the place where our mission is not only to motivate you but help you to move on to the brighter side of the health. In today's video, I am going to talk about role of Botox in spastic diplegia. Lot of children or parents whose kids are suffering from spastic diplegia have this concern that they should go for Botox treatment or not. Many a times they have been advised. But what is the role of Botox, they don't know and that's why they are always confused whether they should go ahead with Botox or not. So in this video, I'm going to explain exactly that. So make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's begin. Friends, Botox therapy is nothing but a method with which a muscle which is over contracted or is in spasm or else is very tight is tried to relax. The way it works is by that there is a particular bacteria who has got a toxic substance. This toxic substance is called as botulinum toxin. Whenever this botulinum toxin is injected in a muscle, it leads to paralysis of that muscle. So what is done is a very limited measured dose of this toxin substance is injected in a muscle. A muscle in particular which is very hypertensed or as you can say the tone of the muscle is very high. When Botox is injected in a muscle which has got very high tone, it will cause a reduction in that tightness or is that tone due to which the spasticity level will come down. That's what is the role of Botox therapy. Now, with the help of this Botox, what happens is that extra tight and spastic muscles which are usually present in the legs, in the inner thigh region, in the back thigh region, in the calf region can be relaxed to an extent post which child is placed on night splints. With the help of night splints, the child can maintain the corrected position and the muscle tone reduction that we have achieved can be used or can be maximized. That is the entire intention of Botox therapy when it comes to cerebral palsy or in spastic diplegia management. But many a times due to lack of information and lack of understanding, parents land up doing many mistakes. At first place, parents think that with the help of this Botox therapy, the child will start walking or else child will become better in independence. That's not the case. Botox therapy is just part of a process. It has to be completed with night sprinting, stretching exercises and other physiotherapy exercises as well. Number two, patients don't follow the rule of night splinting and exercises posted. Many a times due to pain, lack of cooperativeness, child does not allow the parent to wear night sprint. This puts all the effect of Botox therapy to zero. And that's why it's important that that mistake should be avoided. Botox should only be given if parents and child are willing or ready to go ahead with night sprints and stretching protocol. The third common mistake that parents make post Botox is they believe that this will make child independent. They don't understand the long term process and then they start blaming the process that they, the Botox didn't work which makes the entire ecosystem or people's understanding blurred. So it's important to understand the use of Botox. Botox is something which can be used in entire body. People use it for facelift as well. It's the same Botox, but the measurement or the quantity at which this Botox is applied and what for what purpose this Botox is given varies from individual to individual. Mostly in spastic diplegia, the Botox is given on the tight and hypertoned muscles. Apart from that, if a child is cerebral palsy, quadriplegic cerebral palsy, Botox is also given in hand to improve hand functions. But as I said, Botox has always needs to be combined with proper physiotherapy and rehabilitation protocol. Until unless that no effect can be achieved. I hope through this video, I was able to explain how Botox works and how it helps. In another video, I'll come up with more information and tips around management of cerebral palsy and its variant. So make sure to watch this video till the end, like this video, share this video with your friends and family members, whoever you feel might be of help and do not forget to subscribe to Health Q channel. I'll see you in another video. Thank you.